quite literally with the arrival of COVID coincided with the dis disappearance of business. I was very fortunate to be associated with the Hidden Heartlands and in particular their task force. One of the initiatives that we came up with was reorienting ourselves towards families. So we had to start thinking innovatively to engage with stakeholders who had appeal in terms of visitor attractions and activities. Start bundling and packaging and roll that out very, very cleverly. I passionately believe the success of this initiative has been our ability to pivot. And I think that's will stand to us, not now, but also in the future. We've got a great team from the Hidden Heartlands. There's great collaboration goes on between all the stakeholders. It's been a fantastic improvement to lifting tourism in, in this area, just even in this season, which was quite short. The 50 things for kids to do on the map was a huge success. It was a great coming together of all the local attractions and probably the first time it was ever done, uh, certainly in my lifetime anyway, here in Athlone, and, and it was a great success and hopefully we'll do something similar again next year. The Destination Loch Derg Recovery Task Force was really, I mean, aimed at what could we do to sustain business in this very uncertain times uh, in the pandemic. The Adventure Loch Derg app got people out there to explore around the lake from the picturesque villages to the tracks and trails that exist. But, but also, interestingly enough, the locals actually got a lot from it as well because they explored areas they'd never been before. It was a great showcase for Loch Derg in its entirety. The Destination Loch Derg Recovery Task Force has lots of ideas in the pipeline, but the first one we're going to focus on is a, a campaign we've come up with called Reconnect 4. It'll be a branded campaign that will support the industry to give a clear message to people what Loch Derg is all about. <laughs>